Hey guys, TSL here and back with another video. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add your very own game passes to your own Roblox game. Now this tutorial will show you how to make uh, the game passes have a function, as well as making them purchasable in-game. Now lastly, we will also make it so that, you know, players don't have to rejoin once they buy the game passes, because that's kind of annoying, let's be honest. Alright, so the first step in making your game passes is you're going to have to publish your game to Roblox. So just go ahead and if it's not published already, just click publish to Roblox as. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's create a new game. And we can call this how about game pass test. I'll have team create off and yeah. So let's just create that successfully published and now we're going to go and open that on the roblox website all right guys so here i am on the roblox website i just went ahead and clicked the create tab as you see the first thing in my experience is is game pass test so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on the start place actually go to the store and yeah you should see this so all you're going to want to do is click add pass and here you're going to want to choose an image for your game pass. All right, well, I didn't have a game pass icon, so I just went ahead and chose this random fireball image that I used for one of my thumbnails once. So, yeah. Uh, and this stat we're going to do is just going to be a two times walk speed as our example. So let's just click that. And, yeah, good thing you let me preview. Alright, so anyways, that's not important right now. All you want to do is click on this once you created it, and look at this in the URL bar. This is your Game Pass ID. It is unique to your Game Pass, and this is very important for your Game Pass. Well, Alright, so what you're going to want to do is click on it, make sure you're only highlighting the ID, and you're going to want to click Copy. So either Command C, Control C, or right click and Copy. Then you're going to want to go back into your Roblox Studios, and yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is just make it so that it does something. So let's say we go in here, and we just insert a script, and play. Or not play, just zoom in. All we can, all we have to do, let's just make a variable for our Game Pass ID, and we'll call it Game Pass ID. Set that equal to your Game Pass ID. Now, above that, we're going to want two things. We're going to want some service variables. So the first thing we'll need is marketplace service. I'm going to just call that MSS. And this is going to be equal to game, colon, get service, marketplace service. This is going to be the service that you'll be using when you want to make game, pa game pass purchase prompts and check if people have game passes or same service for dev products, basically anything you'll be selling in your game. That's why it's called Marketplace Service. The next service we'll need is the player service, and this will be equal to game colon get service players. Then we'll just add another comment for some clarification, variables, and yeah. So the next thing we're going to need is some, is a connection, so what we'll do is players dot player added colon connect function player so we check whenever a player gets added to our game we connect this function to it so whenever a player gets added this is going to run and this player variable is the player who joined so what we're going to do is make a local success comma error or error like that is equal to a p call function and this is just going to this is just going to set a variable that we have up here that will be called has pass and this will be equal to false by default and then in our p call function what we're going to do is set has pass equal to mss which is marketplace service colon has or yeah. user owns a user owns game pass async uh, and our the first parameter is the player's user ID so the player that we want to check if they own the game pass so in this case it will be player dot user ID 
and then after that what we'll be passing is the game pass ID which is our game pass ID variable that we had up here now if you don't know what a P call is this is a protected call that's what it stands for and basically it allows you to run your code whatever it's in your P call it will run and if there's an error if it throws an error it won't stop the thread but it will pass the error inside of this error variable and if it succeeds well then this so what we're going to check is if not success so if it errors then what we're going to want to do is warn an error and this error is going to be like error occurred while checking if player owns game pass something like that and then we can put a colon and then our second or we can concatenate a two stream version of our error message alright so now what we'll do is check if has pass remember this tells us if we have or if the player has a game pass or not and if he does then we want to print owns game pass owns game pass award speed and else we'll print uh, doesn't own game pass he doesn't deserve anything and let's say they don't and we have one extra parenthesis there for some reason alright there we go so now if we go ahead and play the game what you'll see is we own game pass award speed now this is because I am the owner of this game and basically if you didn't already know the owner of the game has all the game passes already for free now this is good and bad it's good because you don't have to buy your game passes but it's bad for me for this video because I can't really show you guys this unless of course we bring in like a test so the other thing I would do is like make a local server because yeah it's not technically my account but you can't actually make purchases in a test local test server so now I think if I turn on team create it might allow me to uh, it might allow me to basically try to buy the game pass but I'm not too sure about that alright guys I am back and hopefully we can test this now alright so as you saw it said um where is it doesn't own game pass they don't deserve anything so now basically what I did is I just went to my inventory and well removed it alright so anyways let's get on with the video you saw it works for both ends so now let's make a prompt so that people can actually do it. So all we're going to do now is just make a screen GUI and start a GUI, insert a text button, and we'll say speed, or click for free speed. Now uh, that's the name, okay? If I cut this in a button and paste click for free speed now definitely don't put like definitely don't lie whatever all right so anyways let's just uh place that over here and yeah that's what we'll have all right so what we're gonna want to do now is insert a local script into our button and basically what we're gonna do is just say Get local MSS is equal to game cone get service marketplace service and uh, we can make our our services comment this is just to organize code it's not necessary as comments don't really do anything so the next thing we'll need is our players game cone get service players then we'll have our var variables and we'll have a local player equal to players dot local player 
Then down here we'll have our connections again. And this time what we'll do is group.parent.mousebutton one click, colon connect, function. Whoops. Alright. So basically, if you're not familiar with this, script.parent is referencing, referencing the button because our script's parent is the button because we placed the local script in the button. So now we're getting the mouse button one clicked event that Roblox has created for us on the but on buttons, and we're connecting that to a function. So every time that we click the button, whatever's in our function will run. All right, so. What we want to do particularly is, uh, well, MSS colon prompt game pass purchase and the player, this time it's the player instance as you see here and not the player ID and then our game pass ID. So we'll just type game pass ID and then we'll go to our other script and copy this. Paste that here and delete that slash and yeah now we should be good to go so if we go ahead and click save to roblox and click play when we go ahead and join this game well what we should see happen doesn't own game pass they don't serve anything click for free speed item is currently is not currently for sale your account has not been charged uh let me fix that real quick so let's go over here and uh, configure this and sales item for sale. <laughs> I will just do a hundred Robux. All right, yeah. What, what can I say? Players want their speed. All right, so now if we go here and click play, click free speed. Would you like to buy two times walk speed for a hundred dollars? Flame, because you go fast. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Well, anyways, yeah, that that should work. So now what we're gonna want to do is first of all go over here and actually give us our speed. So we'll just do local char for character is equal to player dot character or player dot character added colon weight. So now what this line does is we get our character, but if it's not loaded in, then we want to wait for it to load in. That's what this or statement does here. Now what we want to do is char colon uh, wait for child humanoid dot walk speed. Guys, remember capitalization is very important and we're going to make the walk speed equal to 50. That might be a little fast. I mean, it's very fast, but it's, it's going to be good. It's about triple the walk speed since, uh, well, Regular Roblox walk speed is 16, if you didn't know. So now if we join the game and click play, what you'll notice is we're slow, we're normal speed, which is slow. Okay, so that's another thing. So the way you fix this, if you guys are getting the same error, you go to game settings, uh, security, and... Uh, allow third-party sales and save all right anyways if we go back in here you'll see we're normal speed because we don't have the game pass click here it says this is a test purchase your account will not be charged because it's in studios don't worry about that that will only be in studios so you can buy it without you know wasting your robux so if you click buy it says your purchase was successful but you see well, we're still slow, and why is that? Because we haven't rechecked if the player has it. So what we want to do is click stop, and we want to add a new script, and we can actually do it down here, because why not? So we can add a new comment here called uh, functions, and here we can just say local function on game pass, game pass purchase, purchase. So this function right here, it takes in a player, a purchased, a purchased game pass. We'll just do pass for short, for short. Purchased a pass game pass ID and the successful purchase. 
so we'll just use success. So what we want to do is check if the the success if success and the purchased pass ID is equal to our game pass ID. Now this we can make a comment and call it like speed pass, or we can just remove that comment and all around call it speed pass ID. Copy this, paste it here and here. This is just so if you have multiple game passes, you don't get confused. So if success and purchase pass ID is equal to our speed pass, then what we want to do is, well, the same thing here as we did here. We want to give them the exact same thing. So now if we put that there, and yeah, that should work. But don't go ahead and test it yet as it won't work quite yet. Uh, also what I want to do is since we made a function for that, I just want to put a local function uh, and this will be called player added and then here we'll just connect player added without the brackets and then we'll also want to do mss dot prompt game pass purchase finished colon connect and a game pass on game pass purchase that's what we called all right and now this should hopefully work so if we go ahead and save this to roblox If we go ahead, we're slow, click, click for free speed. Go ahead and purchase this. Your purchase of two times walk speed was successful. Oh, and there we go. We are now very speedy. All right, guys. Well, as you see, this works. And if we leave the game, well, this won't save because it was a test purchase, but for normal Roblox players in the real game, it will save. Alright guys, well that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed and this helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a ton and really motivates me to keep making these videos for you guys to keep learning scripting. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Also comment your ideas for the next video uh, below. And yeah, see ya. Bye.